All right, so today we are testing the RTX 4070 Super in Nobody Wants to Die. The game came out a day or two ago. Oh, sorry, I'm a little bit late with that. Anyway, so today we're pairing this RTX 4070 Super with the usual 14600K of CPU running at stock. And then we also have DDR5 6400 megatransfers per second CL32 memory. And uh, everything else is at stock as well, the GPU, etc. So let's just go over the settings here quickly. We'll be testing at 1080p, 1440p and 4K. I'm just running in windowed mode because otherwise it just takes the desktop resolution and uh, we have to quit each time we want to change the resolution anyway so we are running at 1080p currently on the epic preset and we are using dlaa which is a native resolution right even though we do have upscaling methods set to dlss dlaa is a native resolution basically and uh, that's pretty much it i just disable depth of field and chromatic aberration as well and i can't change this because the game crashes right so I can select TSR, but I can't select XESS or anything else. The game just crashes as soon as I click there. Anyway, the game does have quite a lot of technical issues currently. We'll just be testing in this small area. This is actually the first mission after you've accepted your job, whatever. And uh, I just want to show you what the performance is like. As you can see, sometimes we're getting around 60 frames per second. And then at times we're getting 100, per, uh, 100 frames per second. Uh, the performance varies quite wildly depending on where you are and i mean it's not it's definitely not uh, uncommon for for that to happen the game does look quite nice except reflections reflections in this game look terrible right especially like gold plated reflections you can just see the noise here on the uh, on this door frame here and that happens even at native resolution as we are running now even at 4k native it's just it does not look very good the reflections all over don't look good at all there's also some visual anomalies that i've picked up so far and i do think this game does need quite a bit of work because it keeps on crashing as well and it's not the normal intel issue uh, it actually crashed on me on uh, ryzen 5600 as well so Anyway, so it goes. All right, so let's just see what we can do here to improve the performance a bit. I'm just going to enable DLSS quality here. Now, seeing that this is a, an Unreal Engine 5 game, they usually see a, quite a big difference uh, when we start using upscaling, right? Uh, this does seem to use the full Unreal Engine suite. Uh, don't quote me on that. I do think it does have uh, Lumen and uh, Nanite. Just looking at the geometry and stuff, it, I could... They are just look at this. Some some stuff just disappears, right? So as you get closer, they disappear. Maybe it's intentional, but I, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> but you can see your own feet. Anyway, so just messing up our benchmark right here. But you can see here with uh, the LS I said to quality, we we are almost doubling our frame rate at times. So we're getting 129 average frames per second now, and we used to get not so close to that right so the previous run ended at around 75 80 frames per second if i remember correctly the game is a is a good looking game so far it's just some some technical issues does uh, or do seem to plague it a bit especially reflections and the reflections are quite uh, distracting to me anyway right so there we have it an average there of 128 frames per second our one percent low sitting at 95 and our 0.1 percent low sitting at 86 and our vram usage is sitting at a measly 5.2 gigabytes so if you do have an 8 gigabyte gpu these settings would be perfectly fine so first we'll just disable dlss and then we'll just uh, drop this down to the high preset luckily the game applies the changes in the background you don't have to to do anything so let's go ahead and uh, see ya. so we getting more or less the same frame rate now on the high preset than what we were getting with DLSS set quality on the epic preset so just to show you how powerful DLSS actually is in Unreal Engine 5 games powerful maybe not the correct word but it's just Unreal Engine 5 games definitely benefit a lot from enabling DLSS right and there, there's been quite a, a lot of talk actually with regards to that. Remember when Remnant 2 came out, the developers came out and said you need to use DLSS and I mean that's pretty much true for, for most Unreal Engine 5 games as uh, as we have them today all right so there we have an average of 131 frames per second our one percent laser sitting at 95 and our 0.1 percent laser sitting at 86 so going to enable dls seo quickly and then we'll move to 1440p so we'll just use dlss quality again and uh, let's reset our numbers now we are 
getting around 100 and well I mean it, the frame rate went up quite a bit so 180 there we are still mostly GP bound you can see the GP usage is sitting at around 97 percent although our power draw on the GPU went went down a little bit we are sitting at 180 watt instead of the usual 200 uh, 220 watt right so 220 watt is max TDP for this GPU and uh, the game does run quite okay in this specific area I'm not sure what will happen further along the game the the intro sequence is also quite demanding but I just wanted to test gameplay instead of just the intro sequences where you just press buttons right <laughs> like interactive buttons you, you can't really do much all right so there we have it, an average of 171 frames per second uh, one percent loads of 120 and 0 0.1 percent loads of 106 very decent actually but let's move this over to 1440p right we're now at 1440p once again native resolution epic preset the rest of the settings are exactly the same and uh let's uh let's go still the same whoops that's uh, pretty rough <laughs> uh 50 frames per second yeah mm, not not great but once again um yeah as i said i do think it uses the the full unreal engine 5 suite if if i'm wrong please correct me in the comments i'll i'll never shy away from admitting that i'm wrong but just based on the performance i do think it does like the the shadows the lighting everything look uh, look pretty good except the reflections and um you can see here we're struggling to maintain 60 frames per second you can see even at 1440p the reflections look terrible right so anyway not able to maintain 60 frames per second but then again epic preset mm, I mean very very few people actually use it you are much better off just uh, fine-tuning your settings or just using upscaling which we'll do right now so going to leave it on the epic preset and just enable DLSS to quality uh, and now that went up from 50 frames per second to 80 frames per second in the specific scene and definitely much much more playable though I do think that uh, for me personally I, I do play on a 165 hertz monitor so this does not even come close to maxing that monitor out so i'll probably use the analysis balanced on the high preset depending we'll we'll see how the game actually performs with the the balanced uh, or the the high preset at 1440p and uh, just a spoiler alert i did test this game at 4k as well at 4k high with the analysis set to quality i was able to maintain 60 frames per second but we'll get there let's not jump the gun all right so an average there of 94 frames per second or one percent laser sitting at 73 and our 0.1 percent laser sitting at 62 all right let's uh let's move this down to the high preset and then we'll uh, use the lss there as well all right so dlaa high preset still 1440p and uh, as i said i'm just doing this uh, this small section here just to give you an idea what the performance is like Personally, I think I'm going to just uh, refund this game after I made this video. Um, I'll, I'll see. I'm, I'm not, I'm not that big on like puzzle type of games. This does seem to have quite a few puzzles, and uh, it's not my favorite genre. Anyway, so getting a, a much better frame rate here. Remember, we weren't even hitting 60 frames per second on the epic preset now we are sitting with an average of 90 frames per second so the high preset is definitely something to consider like you can see that it still drops quite heavily in this specific scene dropping down to 74 75 frames per second but on the epic preset this was sitting at 50 in this specific spot so there we have it an average of 86 frames per second one percent lows at 67 and 0.1 percent lows at 64. all right so let's see dlss quality on the high preset how this goes and there we have it going from 75 in this specific spot to 112. so i do think this is this is where I'd personally be playing the game. We'll see. I'll, I'll drop this down to DLSS balanced. I just wanna, I just wanna see if we can get closer to to that 165 uh, hertz uh, or frame rate of my monitor. It's not needed in this game. I know, like very very few things are needed in PC gaming, but uh, it's just a want, and uh, I do prefer high refresh rate gaming. Now, one thing that I did notice is this game does not support Nvidia Reflex and at times the input latency does feel very sluggish so you might want to force enable reflex 
using third party tools. So they were having an average of 130 frames per second, 1% lows of 94 and 0.1% lows of 86. A little bit more widespread now, but it's because the, the frame rate is quite a bit higher. But you can see we are still pretty much GP bound most of the time, right? So let's drop this down to DLSS balanced. I just want to see if we if we gain a little bit of uh, frame rate here we don't gain performance remember you are lessening the load on the gpu by using the lss it's not make it doesn't make the gpu faster doesn't seem we gained like we gained anything right we were still getting 120 in that specific spot so not a big difference between the lss quality and the lss balanced right so i guess i'll just be sticking to the lss quality here at times it does seem to be slightly higher the frame rate seems to be slightly higher but overall i'm not sure let's just have a look at the reflections here like they they do seem worse a lot worse at dlss uh, balance right just look at the at the gold bars here this is <laughs> mm, it's very very noisy this game can definitely uh, use some ray reconstruction all right so Got an average here of 147 frames per second, so it is slightly higher than the LSS quality, although we were standing still in this spot for quite a bit, and 1% uh, lows of 106 and 0.1% lows of 93. I think that's uh, where we're going to... Uh, uh, let's try the medium preset. Let's just try medium, and then we'll move to 4K, all right? So we'll we'll go back to DLAA, and then we'll just try the medium preset. I do expect the reflections to look even worse. I know I'm harping on about the reflections but they are very distracting to me so now we're getting 90 frames per second here on the medium preset we were getting 75 on the high preset in that specific spot the game does feel quite responsive even even though the frame rate was higher previously on the medium preset the game does feel slightly less laggy uh, when it comes to input i don't know i mean that could just be me but right so i think the medium preset actually does look slightly better than high with dlss set to balanced and we are still getting a a decent playable experience yeah i mean this game would be perfectly playable at 60 frames per second right and um, you'll definitely have that even on the high preset and native all right so i think I'm not going to be testing the LSS on the medium preset here. Um, I think we got a, a fairly good idea. So let's move this over to 4K. All right, so 4K native resolution using DLAA, Epic preset, and the, all the settings are still the same. And uh, don't expect anything good yeah. Okay, so let me just resize the on-screen display quickly. All right, so it's resized. Let me just reset the numbers and getting a cinematic 24 frames per second but input latency is horrible in mm, input latency does not feel like 24 30 frames per, it, it's very 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 bad that that's what i alluded to earlier even even though we do get higher frame rate at, at the previous settings the input latency is definitely a lot more noticeable in this game for some reason this game does have a lot of technical issues that i that i do hope they can they can sort out quick and you can see the reflections now they they look better but it's still quite noisy right but i mean this is not how you should be playing this game at all on an rx 4070 super i just want to give you an idea what the performance is like right so uh we'll we'll probably use something like medium with the lss set to quality but let's let's just use the lss quality for for testing purposes right we like to be scientific on this channel that's sarcasm by the way so enabling the lss set to quality almost doubled our frame rate once again we went from mid 20s to mid 40s into the 50s in input latency feels a lot better now as well i'm not going to do a full run here because I still um like i do understand that some people are fine with playing at 30 frames per second it's just that at 30 frames per second this the game is pretty much unplayable due to the input latency right so let's drop this down to the high preset i think um we, we should not be using epic with the uh, with 4k i just want to quickly check the vram usage we are sitting at 6.2 gigabytes of vram usage so once again like, uh, you shouldn't have an issue with the uh, 
8 gigabyte GPUs, right? Not that there are 8 gigabyte GPUs that will be able to play this game at 4K on the Epic preset anyway. So let's drop this down to the high preset and enable just DLAA. So native resolution, high preset, and mm, 40 frames per second, not ideal. Input latency, very high. It's, it's very, very strange. Like, so, a lot of other games would be perfectly fine with uh, 40 frames per second when it comes to input latency, right? So not going to do a full run here, just this is not the settings to use. <laughs> right, so just going to enable DLSS again. So DLSS quality, we should be able to get 60 frames per second now, right? So there we go, 70 frames per second. DLSS helps a lot in Unreal Engine 5 games and this is no exception and input latency is much, much better. You can see the the lows are much better. The, the the input latency is the most noticeable, which is, uh, as I said, very very strange. Sorry if you hear the dog barking in the background; uh, she can be quite annoying at times, uh, but I do love her. Anyway, mm, let's just have a look at the reflections. Yeah, still, still pretty bad. Okay. Anyway, getting an average here of uh, 84 frames per second. Definitely a playable experience uh, if you are aiming for. For 60, just over 60 frames per second. This should maintain that because if you look here, this this seems to be, or this view seems to be the most demanding scene in my benchmark run here. And we are able to maintain above 60 frames per second here. All right, so let's see if dialysis balanced actually makes a difference here at 4K. I think it should, but mm, I'm not sure. So we were getting around 68, 69. And Okay, now we're getting 80. So DLS is balanced at 4K definitely makes a, a bigger difference than at 1440p. It's possible that we we became CPU bound at 1440p with DLS is balanced because our GPU usage is still sitting at around 215 watt. So it is it's definitely a lot more GPU bound than at 1440p when where we were seeing 180 watt. Right, so but, I mean, I'm not no longer focusing on the reflections. It's just to try and replicate my, my benchmark run. I do look at the reflections <laughs> each run. So this is actually pretty decent, right? Got an average of 95 frames per second, a 1% less sitting at 74, and our 0.1% less sitting at 70. Right, so let's just, I think... I think let's just drop this down to the medium preset. I'm not going to be testing native. So medium with DLSS quality, maybe just do a short run. It's pretty much the same as what we had with the high on DLSS balance, right? So maybe slightly higher. Just going to, not going to do a full run here, but you can see, I think high preset with DLSS balanced at 4K is definitely the way to go. Like with DLSS balanced, you can even go to DLSS performance at 4K if you'd like, and uh, it'll still look plenty good. Right, so let's just, one last thing that I want to do here is just to drop this down to DLSS balanced on the medium preset at 4K and see if we, we're not able to hit 100 frames per second, that's my aim, but looking this way, we should, and there we go. Right, 120 frames per second at 4K. It's not 4K uh, internal resolution, obviously, but it's still it's still pretty good, right? Uh, 120 frames per second with 4K output resolution and uh, medium settings. That uh, medium settings still look plenty good. If you can see screen tearing, it's just because the capture card does record screen tearing as well. If we go above uh, 60 frames per second, unfortunately, I only have a, a 60 hertz capable capture card but uh, there we have it all right so 113 frames per second uh, average one percent less sitting at 84 and 0.1 percent less sitting at 75 i think i'll be playing this game a little bit because i do think we we went over our two hour refund period so it's probably too late to refund so i'll play it a little bit i'll update uh, i'll update you on my thoughts on twitter so follow me follow me on twitter if you haven't already it's uh you can find the link in my about page on youtube right that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one